Tower Records presents Captain America and the Falcon in And a Phoenix Shall Arise. Captain America and the Falcon on Night Patrol. Hey, Cap. What's with you, partner? You're moping around like you just lost your last friend. But you definitely ain't. Not while I'm around. What? You'll have to run that by again, Sam. I'm a bit slow on the uptake this evening. Some nights it just gets worse than others, that's all. Some nights it just gets worse. Worse? What gets worse, Cap? Now I'm the one who doesn't follow. I can't shake it tonight. The feeling that I'm a walking anachronism. A guy who looks like he's 20, even though he was fighting Hitler's horde some 30 years ago. Huh? Now what made that old bugaboo creep up on you all over again? A lot of things, maybe, all adding up. I guess it started when I fought the madman who took my place during the 50s. Okay, okay. So you were on ice for 20 years. But why pick tonight for this out-of-my-time jazz to get you down? I don't know. It's just a feeling I've got. Like something's about to happen, but I don't know what. Frankly, Shield Slinger, we don't know either. But we'll all find out together. Now. Falcon, duck. Ah, that's what I call cutting it close. You okay, old buddy? Feeling no pain. Not yet, anyhow. But if that big bang had come one inch nearer, what was it, anyhow? Some kind of ray? Sure looks like it. We're both lucky it didn't. Luck had nothing to do with it, fool. Cap, look, up there. I see, Falcon. I see. Do you? Do you really? Then know that your treacherous eyes gaze upon the face and form of the phoenix. Know, too, that you'll not escape my vengeance. Vengeance? Is that dressed to kill dude an old sparring partner of yours, Cap? Negative, chum. I thought he was one of yours. Such wit in the face of adversity is admirable but futile. Feel the fury of the phoenix now! I'll keep an occupied, Falcon. You get moving on the double. But even as laser-like beams blast still another hole in the crumbling rooftop, Sam Wilson's ever-alert mind is already light-years ahead of his fast-churning feet. Go like a bat, Red Wing! Oh, I'm bothering to run. It doesn't take an instant replay to see what that maniac is up to. <laughs> Namely, he's firing just in camp. As far as he's concerned, I'm not even here. Well, I don't know who that cat is or why he's got a hate on for camp. But I sure aim to find out. Mm. So, Birdman, you sneaked up on me from behind. Precisely the kind of tactics I should have expected from you. Save a conversation, because I'm not behind you now, flame face. Out of my way, fool. This is good enough for you. Ah! As for you, my red, white, and blue foe, I've no desire to kill you. Not right now. Not when I can make you suffer all the more by slaying the one you call the Falcon. Sam stunned. No way to reach them in time. So watch, my friend, watch and grieve. Eh? My weapon's charge exhausted? Then your just desserts must wait, Captain America, until we meet again. Perhaps tomorrow. I'll be waiting, mister. He's agile. I'll say that for him. I, I've been known to do a little rooftop leaping myself in the approved superhero manner. Hope it'll do me some good against the so-called Phoenix. You all right, Sam? You must be getting tired of asking that question, Cap. One thing's clear, though. Namely, that I'm getting to be a real drag in the masked sidekick department. I wound up being nothing more than a hostage. If I hadn't been here... That madman could still have picked me off. He just didn't want to, that's all. Okay, okay, you made your point. Now what? Had any second thoughts about who that might have been? Not yet. I've had a lot of enemies in my day, though. And you can bet your beak I'm going to spend the next 24 hours going over the list. Maybe the Phoenix was just tossing me a red herring to keep me from guessing who he really is. But his taunts are the only lead I've got. Only thing is, Captain America's got more arch enemies than most people have relatives. Power-mad killers like the Red Skull. I thought he took the plunge a few months ago. But can I truly be sure he's dead? One thing certain anyway, it can't be Baron Zemo. He was a holdover from the big war, too. 
but a rock slide finished him off several years back. I ought to know. I buried him. Maybe the Viper. Dr. Faustus. Even Solar. Hmm. Wonder if it could be Solar. That death ray of his. It's possible. Not likely, though. Why would he use a rifle instead of his own sun-powered superpowers? There's only one way to learn the secret of the Phoenix, and that's by building a better mousetrap. With one slightly used defrosted shield slinger as bait. Been out for hours now, though, and no sign of... Hold up there, Cap. Me and Red Wing thought we'd come keep you company if you don't mind. As a matter of fact, I do mind. Huh? What's with you, partner? I just thought... Look... I was going to go easy on you, not to hurt your feelings. But since you asked, I'll give it to you straight. I've been thinking about some of the things you said last night. And I've decided you are right the first time. The time you could have given me a helping hand was then. And you blew it. So go play with your pet birdie somewhere else, okay? Like the lady said, I want to be alone. Okay, partner. Any way you want to play it. You want alone, you've got to. I really hated to play that little number on Sam. Wow! But that Phoenix character wants me pretty bad, and I won't risk the Falcon catching one that's meant for Captain America. I've had a lot of partners in my time, and sometimes I think I've caused them a lot of grief. Those brave people putting their lives on the line for me. I'd better get back to business now, though, because if the Phoenix is still gunning for me, he can't help but see me up here. Captain America in Times Square. And Mom told me New York was no place to go for my vacation. He's gorgeous. He's still around? Are you kidding, mister? In my book, Cap's the greatest. Funny. I don't seem to get a kick out of the crowds the way I used to. I'd better keep looking. No sign of Phoenix, so... It's time to hit the road. The though Cap searches everywhere, he finds nothing until... Hey, dirt! That guy must have run into something to muss him up like that. And that something may be the Phoenix. He's after me. I've got to get away. Easy, fella. You can relax now. Captain America. Oh, thank God. What happened to you? Some costume nut with a ray gun just tried to kill me. He was raving mad, Cap. Said he knew I was you in disguise, that I couldn't escape his vengeance. That sounds like my man, all right. Uh, he was in the alley. Th that's him. It is Phoenix. And if he is as bananas as you say... I'm not taking any chances. It's not the real Phoenix. It's a robot. But that means... Oh, some kind of gas. It's filling my lungs. Burning them. I can't get any... <laughs> it worked. Once more, Captain America's helpless before the power of the Phoenix. Oh, but this time, you star-spangled swine, you will not escape me. This dirty little alley is your final battlefield. Let that thought penetrate your oxygen-starved brain, Captain America. But why? 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 When you've suffered as much as I have, you living relic, then you can ask that question, and the answer will come in the searing blast of my death ray. Who are you? Blackness descends. When Captain America opens his eyes next... You recovered from the gas far sooner than I had expected, Captain America. But still, not soon enough to save yourself. The chains, of course, are far too strong for even you to snap. What's behind all this, Phoenix? What madman's grudge do you have against me? I would have thought my identity would have become obvious to you, Captain. My namesake, the spirit bird of legend that rises from the ashes of its own destruction to live anew, the death ray I used to lure you into my trap, the boiling substance in the vat below you. Or don't you recognize that substance? Adhesive X. Adhesive X? It can't be. The villain who invented it died years ago. There's no way he could have survived. And you're years younger than he was. Of course I am, you fool. Because the man you call a villain was my father, Baron Zemo. The man you destroyed. What do you really know of the man you murdered, Captain? You hated him for his work on behalf of the Nazis. But my mother and I, we loved him. He was a brilliant man, working tirelessly for the cause of the Third Reich. And you Americans condemned him for this. 
and when he invented a marvelous laser device, your papers called it a death ray and started an insidious propaganda campaign against its inventor. I remember it clearly, even today. The campaign worked. My father became the most hated man in Germany and had to wear a mask to conceal his face from those who would harm him. He was wearing it the day that you attacked him. He had just developed an adhesive ex, the most powerful adhesive ever invented. Once applied, nothing could remove it. You were determined to rob the Reich of that discovery. Your shield crashed through the adhesive tank, spilling its contents. And in destroying the invention, you also destroyed the inventor. For the cursed mask he was forced to wear had become permanently fixed to his face, never to be removed. And that drove my father mad. Madness changed him. He even took his hatred out on his family. Then he left us, disappeared. Soon afterward, my mother died. Oh, I survived, but I was plagued by a burning hatred for one man. You. Then one day, I saw my chance. I returned to Castle Zemo. There, surrounded by my father's greatest achievements, I was determined to recreate his two greatest inventions, Adhesive X and the Death Ray, and use them to destroy Captain America. And as you doubtless noticed, my dear Captain, I succeeded admirably. Give it up, son. You don't really want to continue a battle that should have ended 25 years ago, do you? Do you think a flowery speech will stop me now? You killed my father, and you're going to die for it in a boiling vat of adhesive ex! Wanna rephrase that, sauerkraut? The Falcon! Good guess, Tucson. The name of your destroyer is Phoenix! Same difference. They're both in Arizona. Falcon? I left you back in the city. How did you manage to locate me here? Come on, Cap. You didn't really expect me to fall for that. I want to be alone routine, did you? I put a certified shield tracer on your own grand old shield. Uh-oh. I think I'm going to be busy. Prepare to die, you flunky. Not that time, Archie. You can't escape my way for long, Falcon. You shall join Captain America in death. <coughs> what? The cursed bird! <coughs> Looks like Brother Red Wing has given me all the opening I need to put Son of Frankenstein away for keeps. Mm. You don't know it, man, but you're just what the doc ordered. I needed something to prove that my partnership with Cap was still a good idea. And, baby, you're it! Falcon, ease up on him. He's not a real villain. Just a misguided fool still fighting World War II. It's no use. Sam can't hear me. But I can't let him injure the Phoenix. The war took too many lives, left too many hatreds unhealed. I can't let it go on. I've got to use all my strength as never before. Got to keep pulling and pulling until... <laughs> have to make it to the balcony. I'm only going to get this one chance. Oof! What's the matter with you, Cap? You want that nut to get away? Locking him up isn't the answer to 25 years of blind hatred. We've got to try to reason with him. While those fools are arguing, they've given me the opportunity to finish them off once and for all with Captain America's own shield. Turning your back on me was unforgivably stupid, Captain America! What? Don't be a fool, man! You don't know how to use my shield! You could... He ain't fired a cap! Guide my hand, my father, as I avenge your death! Miss! But just by a hair! But now it's heading back at the Phoenix! I... Dear God, I've got to try to save him! It's too late, Cap. Too late. The big war just claimed another victim, Sam. And I couldn't save him. Come on, Steve. It wasn't your fault. Wasn't it, Sam? The Avengers revived more than an out-of-sync soldier when they freed me from that iceberg. What do you mean, Steve? They revived a whole generation's hatreds. Hatreds that should have been left frozen a quarter of a century ago. Say it again, Sam. Say it isn't my fault. Maybe the second time, I'll believe it. Goodbye, Captain America. Till we meet again.